Good morning, everybody. Long time no see. It's been a minute since we've done one of these. We do have a little bit of a severe weather threat this morning. Just to give everything thanks to weather service in Paducah. Uh, a little bit of a severe weather threat this morning. We want to go over you know, what we're expecting, what we're seeing right now. Uh, let me switch this to a little simpler mode. So we got a few thunderstorms around northeast Arkansas, Boot Hill, Missouri. There's also some stuff in eastern Arkansas that's a little more intense than what we can, what you're actually picking up from the Paducah radar. It's not severe at the moment. Uh, we're moving generally in northeast and intensifying. It's not going nuts, but things are becoming a little more unstable. We got a decent amount of shear. Uh, we have a decent chance. Not a great chance, but it's certainly possible that some of these storms could come become severe as they move into western Kentucky over the next two or three hours. Uh, there is a little bit of a threat for tornado given the shear parameter. Not massive tornado, but some tornado threat. And then there's going to be a threat of a large hail too, it looks like. Not, again, golf balls and baseballs, but quarter size type hail is entirely going to be possible this morning. The threat will pretty much be in the Paducah area of western Kentucky. Uh, from about, we're thinking from about 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning till about 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon, and things will get out of here. Uh, front's coming from the northwest fairly quickly and it'll cool up dramatically behind it. But if you poked your head out this morning, it's 63 degrees, you know, on December the 9th, so it's warm, there's enough moisture, there's a little bit of a threat. Uh, today, I wanted to show you the wind shear parameters. So the dark blue is more favorable, kind of low-level tornado shear. And the stuff is forming in northeast Arkansas in an area that the shear is just not very good. Uh, but the trend that we can see is that that shear is improving. And we expect that these storms, as they move to the northeast, will enter into a more favorable environment. Now, it's possible that they won't really get significantly more intense. Uh, they won't quite reach severe limits. But I'll we will not be surprised if a couple of these storms require um, you know severe thunderstorm or, or perhaps a tornado warning um, between now and 2 p.m. Now I know it's December 9th and uh, a couple of years ago tomorrow we had a pretty rough day. This is nothing nothing at all like that. Not even in the same like solar system as that. What our really simple break it all down parameter that we use where level one is that there's a potential for tornadoes. We're at between 0 0.5 and one, one's right there at that. On December 10th, 2021, that was a 14. So you know, we're not even in the same galaxy as that type of day, but there is a possibility that we will have some mornings, possibility we'll have a watch you know, later this morning. It's not a slam dunk, but be prepared for that between the next five and six hours that we could see some mornings and see a little bit of activity certainly more than what we've seen the last couple of months we've really enjoyed a very pleasant couple two or three months where we haven't had much in the way of severe weather uh, and it looks like that will probably end today where we'll at least have a little bit of activity uh, we don't really see much other threats as far as like heavy rain or you know, there may be a little bit of wind uh, it pretty much looks like the main two hazards are going to be tornadoes if things hook up could see a tornado and then uh, hail, you know, quarter size to up to golf ball size in the worst case scenario, but that, that would surprise me a little bit this morning if it got that big. Uh, but the trend is up. We're going to be down here, and as you know that we are watching it, uh, we will see how that trends. This stuff could be could become severe over top of us, and then this stuff over over East Arkansas could as well. The surface front is back. Uh, Kind of moving into our northwestern uh, counties now there in southeastern Missouri. It's on the move pretty quickly. Let me double check that. Let's see where it's at right now. Right there. Kind of moving into southern Illinois, southeast Missouri. So southern Illinois and SEMO, you look like you're in pretty good shape. They're really the threats. We're pretty well confined to western Kentucky. By the time the front, by the time these storms would get into southwest Indiana, even I think the front will be through. There shouldn't be too much trouble for anybody there. And that's what we've got going on. Uh, pretty straightforward wintertime screw weather day. We'll keep you updated uh, as we can with the warnings and things like that. And everybody have a pleasant Saturday.